Hey everyone, Tragic here, exploring more old dead card games. This one is called Battle Cards with the Scratch and Slay Combat System. It's from Merlin from 1993 and uh, designed by Steve Jackson, in fact. Um, famous game designer, uh, Fighting Fantasy, Sorcery, Munchkin, a ton of other games. Um, this is one of those things that just did not take off. Um, in 1993, this might have been at Gen Con at the same time that Magic the Gathering was out. And uh, this one did not stand the test of time. The other one did. And we're going to find out why. Uh, I stumbled on this and thought it was a pretty neat idea. And uh, as, you know, there's always neat ideas. They don't always pan out. The idea with this game is that you'd play it against another person and there are scratch areas where you would scratch off on your opponent to see if you do damage or miss or take another turn things like that so i'm going to open up a few of these and just check them out uh, the art seems pretty cool um that's definitely what i've been kind of liking about some of these older card games is the, the art choices um and fantasy art is uh, always cool to look at so let's take a look here Play the game. Look for randomly inserted treasure cards. Um, I think there might have been some kind of redemption um, possibility with this game. I'm not exactly sure. It's uh, been many years, and I don't think these are very well known. Ten cards per pack. Fight the battle, solve the quest, win the treasures. And there's 139 scratch and slay game cards. And they may contain a randomly inserted treasure card. One in 12 packs. I don't know if there's anything to do with that at this point. And uh, I've actually kind of discovered that this scratch system, the uh, whatever that's made of on there, after so many years, it may not even work anymore. So I'm going to try that and see how it goes. But that is really cool art on the Decayer. Uh, you've got life, 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 purse. And then they're, they're all labeled head, head, arm. So you can take a... You can take a chance on your opponent's arm or head, body. Uh, there, are, like the rules for this are kind of complex, I believe. Um, I'm not going to sit down and try to learn it. They're all stuck together. But let's take a look at the art. At least the venomous. That's really cool. I like the art style already. On the back is a ton of text. Um, could definitely read through the whole story of the decayer zombie and his relation to whoever there. Artist, um, can't read it. Maybe someone famous, not sure, but very looks it looks great. Um the venomous like a Naga queen almost, right? Same artist looks like. The serpentine alchemist. Like it beast riders. Yep, classic fantasy art, riding on dinosaurs and dragons and such. Fun times. Different artists there, I can't read that. I don't know if any of these would actually jump out at me as someone that I recognize. It is possible. Baron Old Schwartz. I see his Schwartz is as big as mine. He's famous throughout Vangoria for his great strength and powerful physique. And he does some, a lot of stuff there. There's a lot of story to this. So if you were into this, you would uh, you could make a whole collection out of this. Trading post. So I think uh, the idea was after you win a battle, you would have a trading post card and you'd be able to essentially uh, um, scratch something off. I Maybe get a, a prize of some kind. I'm not sure exactly what it would be. That guy looks just like Terry Jones from Monty Python. Who knows? Maybe he modeled for this. Artist is question mark. Good old question mark. I've seen a lot of his art around. Robin Steele. There's. I think there might be some inside jokes there. I'm pretty sure that's a Monty Python reference of some kind. Sisters of Damnation. Yeah, it's a creature that you would do battle with. There's a. Uh, Pretty good card stock to this. Whoops. Artist is whatever that symbol is. P-A-J. Don't know who that would be. 
Very interesting. The Quain Warrior fighting a crab. Very Conan esque. Mental combat. So this is different than the uh, than the creature cards. It's only got a few of these spaces to scratch off. Um, maybe there's other rules to this one. It's a spell card. Using magic spells in battle cards combat. There's a lot of information about that. This one was upside down. The Hellhound. Is this kind of a rarity? I don't know. And then another trading post. So let's let's give it a try. I'm going to try not to ruin my playmat here, but I'm going to try to scratch off one of these. Hey, it does work. Oh, now I'm excited. So I got 450, whatever that was. Let me try scratching. These these cards are not expensive, and I, you know, got a got a whole box of these. I'm actually going to throw these on eBay if uh, pack, you know, like 10 packs for five bucks. If anyone's interested, I might uh, I'll send you some. Uh, but you could actually play a game of this, and I'm actually happy to find out that these are still scratchable. I've, I've, I've scratched old scratch cards before, and they some of them do not work. These ones actually do, so I'm actually very happy to, about that. This Apparently, there was nothing there. It's like a skull, which was the head, and there's no, no hit or anything. Uh, yeah, so there's this one is blood, so that would be a hit if I was to do that on my opponent. So there's a whole game to be made out of this I believe the story is that since you scratch them and you essentially damage them by playing them there's no replayability to it you can get more packs you can play again but uh, you, you don't collect them so this was if this was a precursor to Magic the Gathering Magic being the first collectible card game this one would not count because it's really not collectible in that way, unless you, if you were wanted to collect a whole set of unscratched cards, you could do that, um, but not really anything beyond that. Yard games. So there's different ways to play this game, maybe. Yeah, smother your neighbor, or that's maybe another game to play, like on the side. I don't know. Dark Warrior. Very cool border. Just all of the little skulls and heads and things that are in there. And then the art is uh, a little bit smaller in the middle, but it, it, it's solid, good looking art. Rings of Harakbar. And so, okay, there's no scratch. I think this is a treasure. So, this is a treasure card. Or it's a quest. This is a quest card. Wow. Can you solve the quest? You have to send cards off to somewhere. That's the quest. Interesting. The artist says Waldmeister. Yeah, I'm not going to completely read all of that. Zetonian. F guy fighting a dragon. A little sticky. Is Zetonian swordsman. There's PAJ again. Stallion man. He doesn't look like a stallion. He looks like a demon. I guess he's kind of a centaur body there. That's interesting. All right. I like this old weird stuff, I gotta say. Lane McCain, something like that. I'm not sure who that would, what the actual name is there. There's so much text on the back of these cards. It's an entire novel. Karanga. PAJ. I'll have to look it up. Secrets. This is almost, that, is Secrets a monster that you would fight? Or is it like a trap? Ah, oh, look at this. The Vangorian Alphabet. Secrets of Vangoria. It's like a clue. Terry Oaks. I think I can read that art. So you've got a little bit of an alphabet there that you could actually decipher some of this stuff with. I don't know. Gargantuan. That's pretty cool looking. Very solid art style. That one's weird. Cur Curse Witch's Quest. Moonweed, Starwort, Red Fern. Interesting. If you solve this quest, you get any treasure card. I don't know. It's like it, it was. It was a neat idea. Obviously, it didn't take off. There was. A, I don't know if it was just a ton of cool ideas they threw out, and they didn't think it through completely. Uh, it seems like Steve Jackson has like created so many games over the years, and. and you know, you throw stuff at the wall, not all of it sticks. 
This one didn't stick. Stallion Man again, Zetonian again, Karanga again, so I could attempt to create a collection here, but I don't know if there's really, there's not a market for these kind of collections other than nerds like me finding out about them and being interested in it a little bit. Peter Andrew Jones. Does that guy look like a Jones to you? Yeah, alien creature. P-A-J. Peter Andrew Jones. So, wait. Now, okay. <laughs> it's not a biography. But the artist ma named this creature after himself. Well, that's really interesting. Peter Andrew Jones. Another secret number two. A little sticky here. So, there's the, the alphabet. Continuation. Advanced combat. Oh, yeah. That's what you want to do is just run your opponent through. That's advanced right there. And St. Charity's Quest. Attack the body and defend the body and legs. That's how you do it. And sending off. Send all five different cards depicting the penniless men plus this quest card. Oh, gotcha. So you'd have to take that clue, the penniless men, find the cards of the, the homeless people. And send it to that address, and then they would send it to send you something back, like a prize, some kind of redemption. I bet there weren't a whole lot of takers on that. So another trading post, sisters again. The Queen, where you've seen that one, mental combat. So we're starting to get some duplicates here. Ophis and Wilberforce. Those guys are great. Ophis. And then the magic shield. Very cool. Advanced combat. Sylvain. Very nice. Right, so I'll be putting up uh, like lots of packs onto eBay. Check out my link down below. Wow, that's cool. Sword of Slaying. Go thee forth and slay. So that must be a treasure. Uh, yeah, check out my eBay store if you're interested in, in having a little novelty of this. They're not going to be very expensive. Hill Goblin. Uh, I'm just, like I said, I'm really thrilled to find that these can actually be scratched. Um, got another video coming up with some other cards that are unfortunately not scratchable. Campaigns and Adventures. You can also fight large scale battles involving any number of fire cards. So you could do uh, commander style scratch cards here with more than two players. Cutthroat. George Lackluster. Another self-portrait by an artist. Maybe. John the Agreeable. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Kind of like damaged in the package on the corner here. I don't know if these would uh, grade out if you sent them to PSA. Card games, I think we had seen that one before. Joramunga. Cool. Uh, like a troll with some hair. He's got like a toupee on, that's funny. Another trading post. Alright, we'll do one more. Just for fun. To see if we get anything really neat other than what we've already seen hey there's Les Edwards is that another artist yeah Les Edwards what do you know and then uh, yeah he made a little story for himself in this game man at arms secrets a little sticky and treasure quest eight wonders treasures and again you send whatever you're looking for the new owners of Four Wondrous Treasures plus this quest card. And you would get a reward, the Sword of Slaying. Iron, put them in the Iron Maiden. Excellent. Status is awesome. Alignment is neutral. Art by Les Edwards. Barbarian. Fighting a spider. He's very Conan. Hill Goblin. Soul Pod Plant. And a Horo Soga. Very cool. One more. We got a another Gargantuan Marauder. 
All right, that is it. That is Merlin Battle Cards Scratch System. Scratch it off. See what you get for your purse. Can you damage your opponent? You'll have to read all the rules for this because I, uh, I, I'm not really looking to learn this game. But there it is. Thanks for stopping by. TragicMDG. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.